Savitas is a Haitian private development finance corporation working to develop the Haitian economy by offering loans to local, small to medium-sized enterprises known as SMEs. J'ai étudié en Haïti depuis 18 ans et j'ai une entreprise et un ébénisterie qui relait en repos. Ça te le 12 janvier permet de nous mettre connaissance nous au service de la population haïtienne. We have a contract right now for 200 shelters. Right now, for example, we have about 150 people working. Um, I have 90 people here at the plant. And I have uh, about uh, 60 people at another job site. Sofides, it's the one who does work with the repos. Sofides is always there, always supporting the repos. Tout Sofides is always with the repos, malgré the hauts and the bas, the bad moments that we passed. Sofides is always accompanying the repos. Sofides is a private development finance corporation. So, as Sofides, our mission, as we say, is to, to contribute to the economic development of Haiti by investing knowledge and money in SME, Haitian SME, that has potential. Okay, Dauphin is a sign making company. We make all kinds of visual advertising signs. Before the earthquake, we were in Pichonville. Uh, we had about 20 to 25 employees. Things were not that bad, and then we were hit by the earthquake. Uh, the place was damaged. I would say that we were very discouraged. We thought we were going to close it down. Dauphin has a very special situation because they come to us and say they need a loan to buy a new equipment that will boost their, their, their sales. So this is our new crane which we were able to acquire with our loan from Sofides. Until now, we had to subcontract the installation because we didn't have a crane. So now we bought this crane and are able to master the complete line, doing the prints, install, and owning the structures. We have to consider that it's hard to get financing in Haiti, and if you don't, established and you're not coming from a wealthy family or background it's almost impossible unfortunately after the january 12 we had to remove some of the staff because we couldn't afford to hire these 25 people that we had so eventually we're hiring them back slowly but surely <laughs> 